The birds are chirping and spring is in the air. I thought it would be a good idea today to give you a tour of my brand new smart deck. Let's check it out. Let's start with the smart lighting. Since we had this deck built from the ground up, I knew lighting was definitely the backbone of this smart deck. So what I did was install Trex lighting at every single post and two lights on every single step. And there's three sets of steps. So to all in total, I have 86 Trex lights, which by the way, I wired all myself and they all go into one Trex power supply. And I just have that into a Luchon outdoor plug, which is built like a tank. This thing is super solid, very reliable. I've never had an issue with it. And it's definitely the outdoor plug to have. But guess what? I didn't stop there with the Lutron stuff because I love them so much. The main FUD lights, the lights in the screen and porch, the fan that's in the screen and porch, the light that's underneath the deck are all controlled by Lutron dimmers and switches. These things are rock solid, very reliable. They're a little bit on the expensive side, but I got to tell you, they are definitely worth it. Now, I also have a Gera and Senec Hue outdoor switch, which you need the Hue hub, but this is really cool. It's water resistant. You have four different triggers. And I really like that it was outdoors and it requires no batteries at all. Every time that you push a button, it generates enough power to communicate with the Hue hub and trigger the switch or the light that you're trying to control. And it looks great here. It looks like it's built into the deck itself. It's really just uh, glued right on. And now moving under the deck for lighting, we have the Govi string lights. This is two sets of Govi string lights, which I brought into Homebridge and then brought that into HomeKit. And I gotta admit the plugin is spot on. It really works very well. The scenes that are in Govi, you can actually bring into HomeKit also, but that takes a little extra work, but overall it's not that hard to do. And it can have special effects that goes to the beat of your music. The only downside to these Govi lights is that they're not very bright. They have a bunch of different colors, which the colors are not vibrant. The white is not really white, but it definitely gets the job done. And with the Govi scenes, you can really have a party under here. I also have these Govi lights automated with a Philips Hue outdoor motion sensor. So as someone comes down the steps or comes around the house and goes under the deck, these lights are automatically turn on. I also have two outdoor floodlight cameras. First one is the Eve outdoor camera, which I call the grill light. I have that triggered from the Leventon scene controller. Absolutely love this switch. It is a Wi-Fi switch, but the nice thing about this is that there's three extra buttons on here that's exposed in HomeKit, which you can trigger other automations or scenes. And I love this thing, even though I did keep it simple. It's just a simple on and off for two different accessories. The other one is the UV360 camera, which is a great camera and FUD light that can cover a huge area. Now, it's not native to HomeKit. I do have it in HomeBridge, but unfortunately, it's kind of buggy in that system. It does have local storage. I think it's about 8 gigs or so. Also have the new UV S330 solar panel cameras and the Hub Base 3. Definitely a great system. Keeps everything local and backed up right there to your home base, which you can upgrade to 16 terabytes, which is just crazy. I have a four terabyte SSD in here and that I think I'm good for the rest of my life. Now, these are also not native and unfortunately they are not even working in Homebridge yet, but I have my fingers crossed for the future. Also I have a Eufy S40 solar panel camera. As you can tell, I love this solar panel stuff. You don't have to worry about wires or charging it up as long as you have good sunlight. I have the old Eufy Cam 2 Pros, which have a independent uh, solar camera, and those still work with HomeKit. 
Love those things. It's definitely not 4K like these new ones, but the 2K resolution is not that bad. And having it in home kit is definitely a huge plus. I also like to keep an eye on the weather, which I use this Eve weather which works over thread. And then when it comes to music, I have a few HomePod minis that are portable via this Mission battery base, which I move a bunch of them around the deck as I'm having parties and guests over. And with AirPlay 2, they all sync up and they sound amazing. Also have a Samsung Smart TV out on the screen and porch. It's covered, so I'm not worried about it getting wet. I have a plastic cover to cover it in super big storms. and. It it's not native home kit, although I do have it in Homebridge, so I do get on and off control, and that way I can control it via a scene or a automation. I will turn everything off outside all at one time. Now, last but not least, is the three doors from my house that access this deck. I have three different locks. First one being the switch bot, which uses your current deadbolt. There's no hardware change whatsoever. You just glue this right over your current deadbolt and you're set to go. Now, this is not native to HomeKit either it does work in homebridge fairly well there's a couple little hiccups and hopefully in the near future and via matter and the new switchbot hub 2 hopefully this will be native in homekit sometime in next century or so and then the second one on the door under the deck this is a schleg encode but this is not the plus version with the apple home key that's on my front door which i will be doing a full outdoor video in the very near future so if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and now back to this lock it's kind of old and dated it looks great but it runs on bluetooth and the batteries need to be changed all the time so i'm just waiting for the latest and greatest smart lock to come out so i can replace it i'm not going to mention any names or core i do have the brand new or core doorbell that's completely wireless it runs on uh batteries and it's native to the home kit on this back door and that core lock would look great here i can't wait for it and now the third lock that i have in the screen and porch is the level lock plus and this is the one with home keys even though i don't use home keys back here that much every once in a blue moon depending on what door i exit i need to come in here i usually don't have my phone with me so i do have the level lock keypad which is a great accessory it kind of is bluetooth and kind of slow sometimes it doesn't work but in a pinch when you don't have your phone to get in it definitely is a huge plus overall i love my outdoor deck definitely is a place where my family can entertain and relax and with all the smart home stuff it definitely makes it a lot easier and more comfortable hope this video was helpful i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching